Aquarius, let's see which goddesses are guiding you for May 2023, what kind of messages they have for you. You have two goddesses, so focus on your feminine energy this month more. And we can already see that in your cards because you have Athena and White Terra. Look at this beautiful synchronicity. Those cards are in the same colors, colors of green. So remember to connect with nature this month. Ground yourself. It will be very important for you. Okay. Athena is carrying a message of inner wisdom. And she says, you know what to do. Trust in your inner guidance and act accordingly, okay? So this is not a month of acting in a rush on impulse. This is a month of st slowing down, stopping, looking inwards for inner wisdom and then acting accordingly, slowly. I'm not saying big leaps <laughs> forward because yeah you are going to be using your inner wisdom to make decisions and why Tara is talking about sensitivity you are becoming more and more sensitive steer clear of toxic relationships and toxic circumstances so you are transforming in some ways. I'm feeling that your body is important. You are in need of healing. Green is also a color of healing. We'll see what the other cards say, but you really need to calm down this month because I'm feeling that many of you were working hard, running around, doing stuff, but now it's time for a different kind of action, okay? Different kind of action. Uh, more wise, I'm hearing. Uh, it, it doesn't mean that your actions weren't wise, but you were doing everything fast and on impulse, some of you. But now it's time to stop and reflect. Connect to your sensitivity, connect to your inner wisdom, and then you will be ready to act in this new stage of your life because you're you're slowly starting a new stage of your life this is what i'm saying here okay your angels are Bne elohim Raphael. you got elkims why wow. wow vista and crystal yes it all makes sense now so see i was feeling that you are in need of healing because you have the healing Elohim he is connected to Archangel Raphael so you can call upon both of them if you need healing but with those cards like if you are healing from something now it can be physical it can be emotional take whatever resonates this is a collective reading uh, but you are you are healed this month Sagittarius okay you are completely finally healed just take care of yourself be sensitive to yourself listen to your inner wisdom and you will be healed and 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 another thing that you can do to heal and help yourself and then listen to your inner guidance and act accordingly and wisely what you can do is you can heighten your vibration because that's the message of the Elohim's Vista and Crystal. They're saying to you, everything is vibrating. Everything is vibration. We know that it is true. Science, quantum physics. If you want to know more about it, look it up. <laughs> but everything is energy and everything is vibrating. Okay? So you are in need of deep healing and through that healing, heightening your vibrations. How can you 
uh, heighten your vibrations when you have repetitive negative thoughts? This is a question that I've heard. So maybe some of you will have that question. Uh, you can meditate and you can try reprogramming your mind into positive thinking. You can do that uh, by repeating positive affirmations after you wake up or before going to sleep because that's the time when our brain is the most receptive. If you need help with such affirmations, I have a video on my channel uh, that has affirmations like that, that that will help you reprogram your mind so if it resonates with you haha resonates uh, then wait till the end of this video because the link will be there okay you are in need of healing listen to your inner guidance let's see uh, another card for you we have your body is your temple okay guys so I told you that you are in need of healing. Some of you are in need of healing your body. Uh, I'm not saying that all of you have uh, serious diseases or sicknesses, but if they're in your field, you might discover something about them or more discover uh, a good treatment for it, okay? Because we have Bne Elohim Raphael. So... You are good, okay? If uh, it can also be connected to the way you eat, it's time to eat healthy. See, all of your cards are green and blue, colors of nature. Eat more green. Wow, yes, that's the message that I see. Eat more green, Sagittarius. That's definitely it. And take care of your body. Cherish your body and connect to nature. See, this woman on this card is connecting with flowers, with birds. Yeah, you really need to connect to nature. Let's see your other cards. Okay, Archangel Raphael and Arrow. So we have a little warning for you, Sagittarius, with those two cards, but do not fret because Archangel Michael is here. Uh, no shadow angels over here. So this is just a warning and... Uh, you will be prepared for this. This is what I'm hearing. Because you have an arrow. This card says, surround yourself with protective energy. So, there will be some kind of an arrow pointed at you by someone. And probably you will know who this is. Because yeah, I'm feeling that whoever comes to your mind... You will know who it is intuitively, right? Inner wisdom, you have that. Listen to the signals of your body. Uh, look what your inner eye is seeing. Hear what your inner ear is hearing. So, yeah. Surround yourself with protective energies. You have Archangel Michael also over here. And Archangel Michael gives you protection power and courage ask for it so this situation will require uh, power and courage from you however archangel michael is with you something challenging may happen this month but archangel michael is with you he gives you courage he gives you power and after it happens you will be like whoa i never thought i could deal with something like this so easily Maybe when it's happening, you will uh, be uh, scared or stressed a little bit. But remember about the vibrations, right? The vibrations are the clue. That's why you need to heal this month, okay? Especially at the two first weeks. That's the best time, guys, because we have Mercury retrograde. If you want to know more about the Mercury retrograde energies to know how to use them to your advantage, I have a video about it. I will link it at the end of this video. So guys, uh, heal, at the, especially at the beginning of the month. Uh, take care of your body, take care of your mind, reprogram your mind into positive thinking and that will reprogram you to have 